Welcome to Innsbruck and welcome to the Open and User Innovation Conference. We are very happy as Hive to support this conference and uh, science and the bridge between science and practice is our major part of our uh, DNA and we hope you have a great conference here. Tell us quickly who you are, what you do and your experience with OUI in the past. So my name is Eric von Hippel, I'm a professor at MIT and I, with some very close friends and colleagues, founded OUI about 15 years ago. My name is Johan Fuller. I'm a co-CEO of Hive and I'm also a professor for innovation and entrepreneurship at Innsbruck University. And this year I'm the host of the OUI conference 2017. What is your common research focus or interest? How people can innovate for themselves how to utilize crowds and users to innovate and also to integrate them into the firm's process of innovation. There are so many interesting topics about user innovation, but what I find interesting is this rise of digital platforms. I'm interested in the methods that um, organizations, particularly companies, can, can employ in order to benefit from this phenomenon of, of um, innovation active users. So they How do you see the future of innovation? Well, I think innovation has a future. Whether humanity has is another issue, but certainly innovation is going to go on because we will always be looking for new solutions to problems. Well, the world is changing radically and we have new innovations coming at an increasingly rapid pace and they're constantly changing markets. So the old established firms are falling and the old established countries are falling and new innovative countries will rise and take their place. I mean, we know now that many uh, uh, innovators face a lot of resistance and because of that resistance, many times those products, those services are killed. And because How would you define the status quo of open innovation? Well, um, Open innovation has many definitions, but what I'm talking about here and what our community is talking about is open source, is information that is made free for everybody. It's, it's so astonishing. We really know that this works. We really know that idea contests um, provide value. We know that this technical crowdsourcing provides value. But very often established companies don't go beyond the piloting stage. Uh, corporations are changing very slowly, so they have not fully embraced open innovation. Only a few of them have embraced open innovation and most of them are still struggling in the old model. What hinders innovation? There are many obstacles to innovation and being stuck in a rigid paradigm of we haven't done that before and we're not going to do it here is one of them, but there are many others. Some people are not open to new ideas, uh, others are. So we have people issues, we have funding issues, we have cultural issues. Yeah, there's a culture, you used the right word. <laughs> there's the culture I call the incumbent's curse. Namely, the successful company focuses on the past successes. It's a risk of us, and it's not willing to cannibalize its successful products. Well, I mean, there's a lot of resistance to innovation everywhere, right? If I'm doing my things one way, if someone comes and suggests, look, I have a better way of doing that. Well, the natural reaction is to resist. No, I know how to do this this way, right? I've been doing it for the past 20 years. Why do you want me to change? Even if I recognize that your process is superior to mine, I will resist. So to some extent, that's natural. Is there an influencing correlation between artificial intelligence and innovation? But I see artificial intelligence as a real driver and enabler for innovation. So on the one hand side, it allows new solutions. So you build up a product, but this product is smart and intelligent and it automatically can adjust. So the innovation process in itself never ends. What's happening is that users or scientists can pose questions and process it through big data to see what the answer is.
but it's not like it's taking over innovation. It's a tool. I think right now, as everything is changing so fast, I would argue that the methods and approaches we have so far are not longer valid. I think as people who are interested in users, we are really well poised to answer the question about, well, in this age of innovation, then what happens to the human being? Where do we place them? What's our best potential?